set, and I'll find out that, oh, well, those records are not actually on the system. I need to find them and put them on, open them up. So I'm going to come under and take a look at the Apollo catalog functionality. First thing I need to do is connect to an Apollo database or an Apollo instance. So I come in, put in my connection parameters. If required, I put in a user password, a username and password. I make that connection, and then I open up the actual Explorer window so that I can begin to search that catalog. So here's the Explorer window, and now I'm going to do a keyword search based on Las Vegas. That's all I'm doing, just typing in Las Vegas. It searches through the database and finds all the records that perform to Las Vegas. And in this case, it's 160-something. I can display those as individual records, as thumbnails, or I can come in and display it as a gridded table or a table-type view. Once I've looked over those data sets, you know, that's quite a lot of records. I don't want to have to search through all those records, so I'm going to refine my search a little bit. And this time, I'm going to add in another keyword to help narrow down my choices as soon as I get out of this table. So I'm going to add in Mr. Sid. So I'm going to look for a Mr. Sid image that has a Las Vegas keyword as well. So I type in Mr. Sid, conduct a search, now I'm down to six records. Once I'm down to those six records, I may want to narrow it down even more. So I'm going to load in an image or a data, a base map. And in this case, I'm going to load in the actual images that I have in my map window and use them as the base to search against. So I'm going to draw a box and I can say find anything that intersects that box or anything within that box. So now I've loaded down my record results to two. And now if I want to right click, I can view the metadata. So I get the metadata information from Apollo and review that metadata, making sure what that imagery is, if it's the type of image that I actually want. And then once I do that, I can then add it to the map window by going in and just saying display in map window. You can also use the metadata of your imagery or attribute information of your data to do searches as well. So in this case, I still have one more image I need to find in this example. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a search against the attribute field of the database. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Come back to the catalog, open it up. And this time I'm going to do an advanced search, which allows me to build sort of an expression to search against the holdings. So I'm going to come in and select an attribute such as the name, the name field equals or is true to, and I put in, in this case, the image name itself if I know it, or any portion of that image file name. So then I put that information in, add it to the expression there, tell it OK, and it's going to find that image and allow me to load that image into the map window. So that's where we're going with the, with the Apollo interface.